Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we are going to try and smooth out our 3D printed PLA print with a sand blaster. We managed to find a sand blaster where we can try this experiment on. Due to the time constraints that we have, I will only pick three items out of the group to smooth. First of all, our very popular crystal print. We can see that this is actually a very difficult print to smooth out because of the gaps in between the pillars. It's really hard for your hands to get through it or get past it. This print was printed in 200 microns and from this angle we can actually see the individual layers. Second of all, we have the Reinhardt model which we printed out in 200 microns as well. This is a very intricate model and has a lot of detail to the print. I wonder after sandblasting would it keep the same amount of detail as before. Last of all, we picked the aircraft engine print. The print consists of numerous parts and each part are actually printed with different microns. We have 50 microns at the front, 200 microns in the middle, 100 microns at the end, and 300 microns for the base. I wonder how this one would turn out. So let's start, we'll put the crystal in for the first test. I do want to let you know that the medium we have inside the sand blaster is old and not new medium, so the results may vary. The crystal came out matte and dirty and from our first impression it looks like it smoothed out. Next we have the Reinhardt model. We can't really see what is going on inside the sand blaster but essentially I am firing sand directly at the print from a very high density pressure gun. The Reinhardt model looks really good after taking it out. Last but not least we have the aircraft engine print. This is a huge print and I'm sure it will take some time to smooth it equally, especially with older medium. So I have all the prints here that came directly out of the sand blaster. We can already see that the prints are a lot more different than before. They have this matte coat on it already. Whether or not they are completely smooth, we will be able to tell in a second when I wash them off. The prints were sandblasted for around 5 to 10 minutes each, so let's see how it goes. Here's the crystal after cleaning it. It looks more matte than before, and on a closer inspection, the lines are blurred now. But there are still some places where you can see the lines, but I guess they aren't as apparent as before. Next we have the Reinhardt model. I would say it actually turned out pretty nice, in my opinion. It didn't lose the details of the model, but now there's this nice matte appearance. There are some places that look a lot smoother than before, like the back hip area. Some other parts look a lot smoother than before too and you can start seeing the individual lines blend into one another. I'm really happy with the results on this model. Last we have the aircraft engine that was printed with different microns. 50 microns is really fine already and I actually can't really see a difference between the two in my opinion. Two hundred microns is easier to spot as some places do seem smoother than other places. Next we have one hundred microns and some places are looking really smooth. Last we have three hundred microns on the base. We can still see the individual lines and they are still very apparent. I'm guessing it'll take longer to smooth out 300 micron prints considering how thick each layer is. 
Well, there we have it. We tried to smooth out our 3D printed PLA prints with a sandblaster, and it works. I'm especially happy about the results from the Reinhardt model. I believe if we actually used new medium, the results would be fantastic. Using a sandblaster is really easy to smooth out nukes and crannies, I find, and I would also say that it's less time consuming as well. Would we'll definitely love having one of these handy in the warehouse. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering New. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.